Voters in 15 states and a U.S. territory cast their ballots on Super Tuesday, the biggest voting day of the primary season. Donald Trump is aiming for another dominant performance against Nikki Haley, his lone challenger for the Republican presidential nomination, while President Joe Biden is expected to win Tuesday's Democratic contests easily. The results in North Carolina will be closely watched for signs of each candidate's strength as it's one of the potential battleground states that could decide the November general election. Here's what some voters in that state are saying. We're both supporting President Biden. I think he is, yes, he is, is elderly, he is but you know what? He, I think he's done some amazing things for the country right now. I want to vote for Trump because I think he's conservative. He was pro-life, and I think he did a whole lot for the country when he was president. Biden is a great guy, um, Democrat. Um, but at the same time, we're looking for change. We're also trying to find what's the common ground going forward um, with war. The war between Hamas and Israel was weighing on students at North Carolina University on the eve of the primary, many of whom saw a likely rematch between Biden and Trump. I don't think uh, either candidate represents me or my interests or our people's interests. Um, you know, I think Joe Biden isn't fit for office. Uh, don't like that he's supporting a genocide right now, so. I don't agree with really anything Trump does, um, but I feel like, especially during the Biden administration these past four years, a lot of things like haven't gotten done that he said he would, or like I haven't seen a lot of work there, like with um, the overturning of Roe v. Wade and with like the whole Israel-Palestine conflict right now. I'm not like super satisfied with where that is. <laughs> Sloan Duval is the university's Young Democrats president. These people who are saying, oh, I'm not going to vote for Joe Biden because of this one issue, I think we really need to look at the larger picture. And, you know, not voting is voting for Trump. We need to give Joe Biden credit for all he's done for young people. North Carolina allows voters who are unaffiliated with a party to participate in any primary they choose. That could boost Nikki Haley's performance, given her relative strength with independent voters compared to Trump, who faces four criminal trials. Trump has pleaded not guilty in every case and has called the prosecutions politically motivated. While Trump can't win enough delegates on Tuesday to formally clinch the nomination, a strong showing would essentially end any remaining sliver of suspense. Tuesday's contests will award more than one-third of Republican delegates and more than 70 percent of the number needed to secure the nomination.